How y'all doing? I've come to you before about the pain and the power of lies and secrets. I want to talk to you now about what you know you know. There's a lot of conflict out there when it comes down to religion and gods and things of that nature. But when it all boils down to it, there's a difference between right and wrong. You get that feeling in your core. In your core. You call it your spirit, your heart. You get that feeling. You know the difference. You can call it a lie, Jesus. You call it whatever. But if you look back on history, nobody can really truly pinpoint anything. So is it so wrong to just say that, hey, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not a scholar. I wasn't there. I didn't write a book. I can't write a shit. book. Real Who shit. can write a book about something that they wasn't even there for? You right. I can't. You can't. I don't know. And I don't care. Because there's something in my core that tells me the difference between right and wrong. Right. It stops me. It makes me think. It wakes me up at night. It keeps me from going to sleep. It gives me a distorted image of myself in every mirror I see. Don't just take that literally, take it metaphorically. Something that something is trying to tell you something. It's okay to not know. It's okay. But don't discard it just because you don't know. Accept the ignorance. Ignorance is bliss is what they say. Ignorance is bliss. And people use it as an excuse. Oh, you don't know, so you don't care. It's not about you don't know, you don't care. It's about the fact that you don't know and you accept it. What do they say? There's nothing. There's no such thing as a stupid question. Ask the question. You might not always get the answer. Not in verbal form, but if you get it in your heart, it counts. If you get it in your core, it counts. Ask the question. Ask it out your mouth. You know right from wrong. We know right from wrong. We know what we should and should not do. As things get worse, as things progress, we all have these certain feelings, these things that we may not have encountered before, we may not understand, but it's like little blips of clarity. You know, you ever seen a, a, a DVD that skips? It's like little skips of clarity. Take it, see it, analyze it, pull it in, embrace it, and ask for more. I've been through it. I've seen it. Like I, I was raised up in the church. I, I rejected the church. I accepted the church. Do you feel like it was like forced on you at one point? Yes, absolutely. Bottom line is this: there's right and wrong in the world. All right. Just because the majority of what someone says feels right doesn't mean that everything they say is right. Accept right. the good that you get and move on because there's still a core in you. When I see the church, and this is crazy because I was brought up in church. I can't name the church. The church is very popular. It's known. I was brought up in it. What pride will do to you? He set me down for seven years. Whoever he or she might be, set me down for seven years for thinking that it was all me. Some of us need to congregate. We need to come together with other people to keep us out of some of the basic drama and BS that goes on out there. I think the church is the epitome of an NA meeting for addicts. It keeps us from going out and doing things that we shouldn't do. It's a time filler. Your yeah. preacher is not God. True. Okay, your speaker is not the all high knowing of, you know, you know, of uh, 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 sobriety. They're there. These things are there for a reason. But you're not to overanalyze these things. They're there for a reason. Right. All of the answers that you need 
are in your core I can't explain it and, and the word core has been coming to me back and forth back and forth back and forth core everybody says core you think about apple core you know what I mean uh, core you think the core of the earth bottom line is it's in here you feel it it, it, it catches your breath like when, when the truth hits you when something right or wrong hits you it's yeah. that hiccup right that hiccup you feel right. I don't even know how to I'm saying this but I know what I feel and I know that if you feel what I feel that you know that what I'm you know what I'm talking about it's that hiccup that take that don't don't forget it don't drink it away don't smoke it away don't think don't, it away don't you think the truth is a bully to some people the sweetest person in the world and people think that I'm a bully there are people that yeah. don't want to approach me yeah. but then there are people that approach me and deal with me and take my kindness for weakness 